What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm excited to talk about a new haptic coin that I picked up. This one is the Oreo. You may have seen the video for this one already. I picked this up off Amazon for less than 20 bucks and sad to admit I actually really enjoy fidgeting with this. I don't know if it's sad or not but I think being a EDC channel, this is a piece of everyday carry gear that I do like having. It is a nice alternative to save some life, I guess, from my knives. I mean, I do, I regularly maintenance them, so I'm not too, too worried about it, but it is definitely very different. You can see it's probably um, how the coating is holding up. This is one of the things that I like to do on my channel as well. I like to talk about long-term use. Um, sometimes I react to things with a bit of a honeymoon phase you know you're really excited about it and then later the novelty wears off this is not one of those things so far it's been a few weeks and I uh, I am very much enjoying this one a lot surprisingly for the money um, the aluminum is really well made the magnets do add some weight to it but it's still not too too bad but this is not what we're here to talk about today I picked up a new haptic coin from Meton Boss. I thought since I enjoyed it so much, I would go ahead and splurge a little bit. Um, this is not crazy expensive. It's about the same price as a tactile pen. And um, I did go ahead and get, I believe this one here, if I remember right, is um, the Rebellion's symbol. I think it's the Rebellion for Star Wars. They have a ton, like a ton of different themes and carries. It comes with a beautifully done little suede pouch. Here's the information. It is made in the USA. He does um, all kinds of stuff. Scales. I don't know if he makes the flashlights, and here's an example of his scales. He does pocket clips, pry bars, worry coins, just all kinds of stuff. Um, I actually was looking at his beads for potentially putting it on the Runt 5. He separates them and then he puts the card and the pouch in between them. Or was it just the card and then the pouch? Because they were still kind of pulling towards each other. But my point being is they're very well packaged um, and he makes them all himself. Here's uh, a little bit more of some of the stuff that he's doing. And, you know, I just thought it was very neat. I love some of the patterns and designs that he does. And again, for about the price of. Um, a tactile pin not really that bad now let me go ahead and jump into the um, coin itself because this haptic coin is a slide it is not a spin coin and what I mean by that and I'll leave that uh, just in case let me in case you want to get any of the information you can pause that there so as far as the size it is roughly about the same size as the spinner coin that I picked up for Amazon again I think it was like 16 17 bucks it was definitely less than 20 um, very clicky and fidgety but if you're not into that and maybe you're into a slide I've seen a lot of the slides out there are more square and stack whereas this one's more round so this one does not have the bearings on the inside it is coated to protect the material. You can see the coating that he sprayed on there. I think it's like a Teflon spray pattern, and he does do a little bit of a honeycomb pattern, which is really neat. They kind of sit on that, I guess you would call it the pivot. And when you see it perfectly and the magnets sit perfectly, it will sit like that, but not very durable. It tends to want to fall over pretty easily. You can click with it. Um, I find that it's a little bit of a challenge because the, the center pivot's a little bit small. I think if it was a little bit wider, um, it'd be easier to do that. Now this one here, you can slide in a lot of different directions. It has two layers, but I have found that this is more of a down in the hand slide than it is like trying to do like all the little tricks and things like that because I did it on the sofa, but I would drop it all the time trying to just do it like, you know, one finger on the other without having anything there. But it gives your hand something to fidget with, and the finish on it is really, really well done. I, I'm not quite sure how he gets the pattern to work like he does, but you can see it's like a blurple 
purple uh, he does have other patterns and colors but most of them are like multicolored. I don't think he has too many that are solid and then he has some plain ones and then he has the Zerkatai Timascus and they start to get a little bit more pricey I don't think anything of his gets up over 200 but that is probably a lot of money for someone to spend on a warrior coin I felt like this was a good stop point for me to check something out like this because at this point while I do enjoy the fidget factor and the coolness to it and the looks and the machining engineering that goes into it I feel like once I start to get to the point where I wouldn't I would spend on a knife over a worry coin I guess or a haptic coin that's kind of my cutoff for me so I will be looking at stuff like this um, if you're interested but I'm gonna try to keep it very budget friendly because I feel like this is more of an accessory to carrying the knife the pen flashlight and stuff like this is something extra could be something like what I've also done is incorporate this into my Instagram shots and include it on there and of course people are like what's the Oreo what's the story with the Oreo where's that Oreo where did you get that Oreo and I spent less than $20 on this. I might probably, I will incorporate this 100% into my shots because I want to get as much out of this as I can. But I don't know if I'll get as much a response as I am to the Oreo because I think this is wildly recognizable and I think more pe people would be curious about this piece. Um, they might not care about the fact that it is haptic and that you can spin it and fidget with it. Um, and it works like a worry coin it's not a worry coin but it's something you can do to keep yourself preoccupied with your hands especially if you like to fidget with your knives this one just slides around um, it does feel a little bit more gritty but it has more clack to it I think when you get to actually moving it around and trying to take it apart and slide it up like I like to pop it up and get that real poppy sound my poor wife um, she didn't say a word last night when I messed with it a little bit but I did put it down after like maybe 20 30 seconds because I was like this is really loud and it has to be kind of like irritating if it's not something that you enjoy to do to soothe you man you can really see that blurple it's so pretty whereas this one you can kind of like dull it down and just slide it and not be quite as loud or you can really push down to try to separate the magnets on the other side and get it to really click but it is definitely not nearly as pronounced and I don't know how this will come out on the camera but hopefully that gives you a sense. I think the rounder too is a little bit easier to fidget with like that, but I am gonna look into different styles and shapes. Um, but again, my goal is to keep it in a certain budget. I am gonna look for super, super budget like what I did with the Oreo, cause it actually works really well. Um, I'm very quite pleased with how this is performed, but I am gonna kind of look like you know in a range I'm gonna try to find what you can get at you know less than 20 30 40 50 I'm looking around and I'm still researching but I thought it was very interesting and I thought it was really cool to get the contrast of what you can get between the two really beautiful piece um, I have a set of scales from Metton boss that I picked up for a Swiss Army knife that were done in brass the 91 millimeter and man he the machining on it is really good the tonnage is really good um, you do have to with his scales with a lot of scales honestly for the Swiss Army knife you have to use a little bit of the um, uh, JB weld JB weld uh, for metal you have to use that to get it to stay in place which makes it a permanent mod but I mean a Swiss Army knife usually is less than 30 bucks so who really cares I think it's cool to make it your own and have some personality but anyway Metton boss not my first time getting something from him and you know the machining on it is really well done the coating really well done he does a very good or they do I don't know if it's a company or if it's a person but they do a really good job everything on it feels really high quality and premium but again that's not to say this feels cheap but you can see you know the coating is going to come off of it that's to be expected it's on aluminum um, it's down in the pocket I haven't found an organizer that kind of allows you to have both I guess I would say um, just really quick for size reference of these here is the um, baby banter I almost forgot the name of it and I think another one that's really popular is going to be the uh, QSP penguin 
you can see the size reference here and I will bring out the Delica as well so you can see um, Delica and the Penguin are about the same size but hopefully this helps you from a size reference. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, you know, I would probably say if you're just getting into it, I would recommend, highly recommend the spinning haptic. I think it's a little bit more friendly for an introductory item and very simplistic and straightforward to use and a very, very, very pocket friendly price. And then, you know, you can tune in to see what I pick up or you can check out Mountain Boss or you can, you know, check YouTube and Google and you'll see out there what the other options are. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are subscribed, thank you for all your support. I do appreciate it very, very much. Before I leave out of here, the one thing that I did forget to check is the weight. I think some people might want to know about the weight. Let's bring out the scale. Let's weigh the old one first, or the Oreo, since I've had that longer. Check out the Oreo. So less than two ounces, really nice. Titanium, haptic, even lighter. So there you go. I, I, they feel very close in hand. I didn't think it was gonna be much of a difference and clearly 1.8 to 1.7 is not much of a difference. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in. I hope all of you have a fantastic week and until next time, peace.